Welcome to RBA Homily of the Day. Let us now listen to Father Anbu Selvam as he reflects on today's Gospel. Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, Everyone wants to have a treasure. Who does not like money or other possessions? We need money to survive. The problem is the negative effect of having a lots of money. St. Paul says that the root of all evil is the love of money. Money by itself is not bad. It is evil only when it becomes our main focus or obsession so much so that God is set aside in our lives. Indeed, some people are changed by money and other earthly treasures. As they become richer, they become greedier, more arrogant and pleasure-seeking. They can even forget they have children in the house. Many therefore allowed them to forget God. It has in fact become their God. That's why Jesus says, You cannot serve both God and money. The man who approached Jesus in the Gospel passage today should have been a hero. He is young and already rich. Maybe he is also a tall and good-looking. All the women in his town must be dreaming of having him as a husband. Yet he felt something was missing, though he thought he had followed all the commandments. Is not this typical of the rich? Something is lacking. Jesus provides us with the answer to fill in what is lacking. Detachment from early things, service to the needy, and refocusing our life on what is eternal. We must congratulate a rich young man for asking the right question. What must I do to gain eternal life? Unfortunately, he was not ready to accept the answer and the reason why is because he was a lover of money. So he went home sad. Jesus is inviting us to invest in the kind of treasure that truly gives us happiness that loves. He is also calling us to follow him because he is the way, the truth and the life. This is the way we gain treasure in heaven. God bless you all. Thanks for listening today. For more homilies, please visit our website www.rvasia.org.